this is the shower in my RV in my fifth wheel. It's a corner shower, it's pretty common. I had a leak, didn't know where it was coming from. I did some caulking on the inside, still had the leak. Did a little further looking, find out that seal along the bottom. It gets destroyed during opening and closing the door, so you can only open and close the door a number of times before there's no more seal. Hence, I have a leak. So, we need to fix it. And this is just a cap that goes over it and covers it up. So if you pull this cap off, and you do it by removing four screws, one on each end, one way over there, here, and one in each bend, here and here, you pull those screws out, can lift this cap off. So there you go, there's the cap. Oh, I keep a dehumidifier running when I'm not using it. And I got the hose ran out and out through the uh, outlet outside so it can pump. That's what you're hearing in the background. I'll turn that off. All right, so with that cap off, you see the distance here? And it's flush over here. This piece was cut short because quality is job one. Which means there's no room to adjust this or the bottom one to try to even the door up. So I'm going to show you this. Look at the bottom. I'm going to use my hand to push on the top. Open the bottom one through there. The bottom, that's what's hanging up. There you go, it opened. So here, if I can show it to you. Hold on a second. Okay, here it is. See that plastic right there? That's the seal. And you'll notice it breaks off and disappears. There is no seal the rest of the way. That's the only way the door can close. Because otherwise it closes on that seal. Now I have bought the replacement seal. But before I put it on, I need to get it set so that the gap here, which is a little big, not bad, and the seal can accommodate most of that. You can see that there. But over here, there's no gap at all. So what I need to do is, the plan, the plan, the plan is I want to take that piece here where the door is screwed into it. And see how far I can move this over this way. So what I might have to do is take it and TIG that hole closed and create a new hole. Because this gap, when it gets down to here, is a lot smaller. See, my finger doesn't fit in that gap. But it almost does up here. So, that's what you have to deal with when you have a camper. You got to fix all the things they screw up. And unfortunately, this doesn't show up until a little bit later because the, you actually have to use the door several times before the seal starts disintegrating. All right, we'll get on to it. So, step one, remove all the walls. All right, I'm going to use this one as an example. It looks to me like the panels are held in. I already took off the top screws. There was a screw halfway. There's a screw at the bottom to join the two the panels together here and then it looks like this is a holder and there's some screws in the holder to hold the panel into the holder and the holder is looks like it's fixed to the wall so we just no, we don't need to take the holder off only the panel so we'll work on removing all these screws it, it's on this side and the other side as well all right so here's the holder the wall goes over it and surrounds it this stays on the wall this stays on the wall we're going to leave it so as you can see, the vanity is in the way, and the commode's in the way over here. So we're going to have to rotate this in and try to get it out. So, but took the screws, got rid of the caulking. The, I don't know what kind of super strength caulking slash glue they have to put these in, but it's freaking fantastic stuff. It's hard to get out. It's got to take time. Be patient. And there it is, sitting on the floor. So you can see, times did a number on it. So we're gonna 
um, get rid of all this caulking as much as we can and get rid of and clean, clean the mating surfaces up. And then we're going to try to order some of that caulking. Alright, I got this panel loose. And I didn't have to do anything crazy, but you can't do it while it's in place. I noticed that this little rounded piece mates in the here. Right here. So what I notice is if you insert this in here and then you rotate it around, this will slide onto this and then snap in place. So basically what I did was I pried the leading edge of this out a little bit and then I started pulling them apart and flexing them, uh, almost like straightening them out. And it came loose all the way down to the bottom. Can't show you that because I had to use two hands to do it and the GoPro's down at the house. But it worked. No damage. I'll try to show this to you. So that little notch that you got to undo is on this side. So I'm on this side. I stick my screwdriver in there and basically wedge it out. And as I wedge it, I'm going to force it that way. But now the top of it is out. Now as I pull, oops, the door, the door jam is flexing. I put my screwdriver in my pocket. So as I pull apart, I try to keep my finger close so I don't bend this door frame. You can see it just coming out. Pull it apart. See up. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm no longer connected. All right. Took the screws out on the side. They come in from here. You go in there. Took those out. There's two of them. You see right here is the hole. And we'll drill another hole. Closer to the edge. All right, get her. Got my hole sealed up. Now I gotta do some beautification. First, a little primer. Then add a little paint. It's some paint I had laying around. It ain't the right color, but it's close. Nobody will notice. If they do, they'll notice while they're in the shower. Nobody cares. This part sits in here like this. And I had to shave that off so it's not past the end of it because I put the hole closer to the edge. The door is upside down and I'm putting my seal on. So it's a long piece. It's longer than it needs to be. And I've just got to cut this extra length off right here. Let me show you from the edge how that looks like. What that looks like. Uh, maybe not. Got the seal cut to length. I was going to put this seal in, but I can't really do it without sitting on the bottom seal, so I put it in place. All right, here you can see I got one side panel attached to the door frame, but it's not secured with any fasteners or screws. Just so you know, it, it did exactly like I thought it would do. Just put these two points together, and you're going to do it when they're the two panels are kind of in a straight line and then you're just going to rotate it over until that notch that i pointed out earlier goes in that little channel right there at my finger now i got the door back on the base it's not secured i've done easier things i think i wrestled an anaconda one time it was easier Whew. It's a lot better gap than it was. Still want to try to get that lifted just a little bit more. So what I've done was I've used some clamps to kind of hold the walls from shifting or moving. Used a clamp to hold the door up to lift this unhinged side up and put that gap that we want in the bottom. So right now it's pretty good. I was inside of the shower when I added the clamps and I had added some screws. I added it two screws 
middle bottom middle bottom middle bottom and then middle bottom on the, at the wall there i haven't put anything at the top yet because i wanted to show you this and i stupid left my phone outside so i couldn't video it while i was in there so i'm showing you now and i gotta put that cop top cap on and try to keep keep this shifted to keep this up so i'm gonna take this clamp off put the cap on or i'm gonna take all the clamps off put the cap on and then reclamp everything but the screws i put back i did not put back in the same place because these positions were holding it out of square this is the top gap you can see the gap here all the way across. Pretty freaking even. Pretty freaking even. I like it. Let's look at the bottom. All right, here's the gap on the bottom. All the way across. I'm digging it. Looks pretty good. And the seal hangs down far enough to close that gap. Let me show you one boo-boo I did make. You see right here, the seal ends right at the tip of my finger. I should have cut that so that it extended on out to that hinge. So right there, I got a little air gap. You can see right there, so water can come out of there. I don't like leaks, especially in, well, in anything. So, all right, time to caulk. This is the caulking I'm gonna use, Lexel. I'm pretty sure this is what was in there. If it's not what was in there, it was something that's pretty comparable to this. This stuff right here, the vapors will kill you. So, well, maybe not kill you, maybe make you nauseous. But if you use this, make sure you have adequate ventilation, a fan, airflow, something. All right. We're going to seal. There we go. I did some caulking. You can see right around it, it's shiny. I did around that right there because this is a two-piece shower unit and right back here in that back corner it was bowed out creating an air gap in between the pan and the wall wall portion so I'm a little bit of an over overdoer with caulking when it comes to things like this so and I've never used this type of caulk it does not smooth out like normal caulk does but man it's freaking it does the trick and I, I just killed it. I put a bunch in there. It doesn't look great, but as long as it holds water, I don't really care. I'd rather have an ugly caulk job than a rotten floor. But anyway, there you go. Caulked up, sealed tight, anchored. And we got a good gap all the way across. So there you go. That's the way I did it. Hit like and subscribe. Help me out. Have a good day, everybody.